have fun. to defend myself when the registered patrons are in a more exclusive area of the hotel. Shall we be off? Yeah, let's go. Very good. Uh-huh.
you should feel quite privileged that they will be allowing you in. need to speak to Maxwell. Go ahead and activate the control panel there. Yes, I'm the... Uh, uh, uh-huh. for the hotel. This is just a disaster. They're at the crime scene again. Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me. I again. shall return to my workstation and allow you to take things from here. Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road. You are free to question the rest. You interested in? Sure. Uh huh. Let's head out. Well, all right. Damn, I am cute, McGrady. Residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. Uh -huh. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors. He worked with Vault Tech. Was there anything? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. Right. Once you have enough... Was there anything? Never mind. I'll be here. Sure.
Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. No way I could pick that. Maybe Maxwell has the key. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. If the key isn't on him, was there anything? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need. Protect and serve. Hello, Detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. Tell me about yourself. Well, as you probably know, I'm an actor. I don't like to brag about it, but my... Maybe later. Okay. Uh-huh. Did you need something? Forgot a personal item at home. Let's see what you... All of our items... Uh-huh.
art is life. Dogs and elephants. What is to say our every action is not come with me? Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition. The Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. This way. say to you. It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. The world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. The world turned on its head. Oh, what a very literal interpretation. From every direction, no up or down, the world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Tell me, what does this one say to you? Huh? It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. The world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. It must have said. I guess. Yes, it's certain. And what about this one? And this is bullshit. I can see this discord. This one. And please be honest. For art without honesty is just politics. This is bullshit. Got it in one. Truth be told, this is my best selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has meant more money than any of my serious works. And I did the whole thing as an art. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? Huh? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the art. You have to see my latest work. Tell me about you. What is there to tell? Mm -hmm. My work is primarily in oil paint. 
Did you have any? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, detective. Like Prometheus is George. It's... It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this de fear from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with... So what if I am? What business is it of yours? Maybe... Good. Sure. that Juliana and Ezra had an argument. Well, I was in my lab. Uh -huh. I think she found something in the overseer's office. I don't know, really. Was there... Did you have any thoughts at all? Oh, well, was there... Tell me about you. Oh, uh, well, I'm a scientist. Was there... Tell me about your research. Well, I... Most people don't... Find it all that interesting. Uh huh. Was there? I'd like to hear more about you. Oh, well, not functionally, this model is mm -hmm. the voice modulator. Uh, seems to have, uh, but that's easily. Was there? I'd like to hear more about you. Was there? Robo brains have a voice modulator. Uh, that's what allows us to recreate our original voices. Uh -huh. I've speculated for some time that the issues we had with our maintaining our original voices helps reinforce the neural network. Mm -hmm. uh, was there? Maybe later. Very well. Who's cool. hello, detective? Did you have a question about the heinous murder? I heard you had a big fight with Ezra. Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. Uh-huh. What's with all the junk in These are our things. Uh-huh. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Sure. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and... Maybe... Good luck catching... Mr. Whiskers died last month. This is Cruffy. Remember? Oh. Of course. Silly me. Just let me have a look at the neural interface matrix and I'm sure I can clear that. Uh... No. No, it's not that. Uh, I've just caught another goal. Probably something that got in when they sent Pearl out. Not this again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. Hey, you, you mind You're not a doctor. An eye out for a what second? would you even know about it? On a diagnostic. Besides, I think <sighs> it may be malaria. Thanks. What did I, I miss? I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not physically possible. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now why don't you just wander off and play in your lab? Mr. Scruffy and I are going to rewrite the will, so he will get everything when I die because horrible Bert didn't believe me. Oh, God, Juliana. Have fun, Whatever. dear. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about me? Right. 
You're not so bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from... I must say, you're quite... What can I say? I just care to hear some of my... Have you ever done radio? Well, darling, play your cards right. Surely you must be... I must say, I... Keep it up, tiger. And well, surely you must... Why don't we grab a bottle of wine? Mm, sounds good. You think any... Tell me something. Sure, darling. Sure. Apparently, Juliana had a big argument with... Oh, oh, yes. I haven't seen a woman go off like that since Teresa Dubois fired her costume design. It was fever pitch, detective. But, and this is where it gets interesting, did you need something... In right. I've gotten the impression you... Look, I love Keith, I do. Uh -huh. It only lasted a few dozen years. Did you need something... In what were you and Keith talking about when- Oh, that? We were rehearsing! Did you need something- Mm-hmm. Did you have- Well, it is a bit strange how obsessed Santiago has been with the- He did a whole series of paintings of me, hundreds- uh -huh. Did you need something- Tell me about you- My favorite subject- When this- Did you need some- Uh-huh. Maybe- I'll be around. Mm-hmm. Hello, Detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Never mind. Okay. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once a premier air... 
Sounds like Ezra was embedded. from his investors. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling for... Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Never mind. Good luck catching... Sure. Noticed Juliana acting strangely like Oh, well, uh, I'm probably just being paranoid, but right. most people don't really understand. Uh, sure. It's what allowed me to focus on my research. I, uh, was there so what do you mean, Ju My wife has always been a very harsh woman, Detective. Uh, was there uh huh. Did you have any. Uh, I don't want to. Uh huh. Never mind. Good luck catching them.
guess someone wasn't a fan of Robo baseball bat. <laughs> what is this doing here? Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? I found. Oh no. Was there any? Sure. Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Protect and serve. Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions? I found your baseball bat. Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the... Never mind. Okay. Give it up. I know your secret, Juliana. Or should I say, Ezra? Well, detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Mm-hmm. Not a chance. Then. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his traps. My word! I never thought... He attacked me. There you are, detective.
know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Kasumi is here. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. Please, if you're... Mm -hmm. Is this a joke? Let me tell you what I know. Sure. We were prototypes, Nick. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. Uh -huh. I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. You were my brother, Nick. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... there's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. We'll talk later. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. Now, about young Kasumi, I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. She's human. But imagine what it means if you're wrong. None of us take this transition lightly. Sure. That someone stripped her very identity from her. I want you to understand that before you see her. One more question. If you'll indulge me. Uh -huh. Tell me, are you a synth? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. Instead, you have to look for the signs. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. No memories before then? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. Who are you? I came to this island over, but after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. Right. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do. Sure. Was there anything else? Uh-huh. Tell me more about this place. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can. Uh -huh. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. Was there any... So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mine wipe. You are from the Commonwealth, like Kasumi, yes? Well, I know Nick, obviously. Yes. What else can... I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Hey. Sometimes I feel Come like on. you don't worry enough. You know what Nick. What? Oh, sorry. You just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? Before I answer, are you okay? I'll keep. 
Honestly, I don't know what to think, Nick. Yeah. Guess that makes two of us. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. Uh -huh. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. I'd appreciate it if... Of course, Nick. Thanks. I know we don't have much to go on. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve... You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe. How do you manage to track down Synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. I know the Institute's tactics. Mm -hmm. You have Dima's blessing. So by- mm -hmm. So what's your story? I used to work for the Institute, returning Synths that had escaped. I was tracking a Synth and instead found Dima. Hey. Did you need something? I'd like to help you all. Actually. As a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, you've had some experience traveling around the island. Sure. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive. There's been no sign of him. You have any leads? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's the one who meets the new arrivals. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Uh huh. I assume you're not planning on staying long. Is there a problem? Maybe. Right. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. That makes you an unnecessary risk. Uh -huh. It's nothing personal. You can relax. Just don't cause any trouble. Mm -hmm. New guy, right? Look, I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. Now's not a good time. Sorry, didn't... It's not your fault. Uh-huh. You try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see... Sounds like you should... Yes, right. Brilliant. Thanks so much. So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but... How are things there? It's the same as it's ever been. Well, that's good to hear. I... Would like to see it again someday. Acadia is all well and good. You're safe here. Mm, I suppose. I'm sure I'll see you. Mm -hmm. I just can't deal with social interactions, okay? Uh, <clears throat> Some other time, okay? You're new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. You didn't tell people you were a synth, did you? Easy for you to say. I'll see you around. Uh-huh. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You left without telling your folks why. Right. Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. 
I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. Uh -huh. I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. I know it must be hard for you. Yeah, so I am. I mean, yes. I believe I'm a synth, but there's something wrong here. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. Fine. It's your choice, Kasumi. Thank you. Now, wait. Wait, you find things. Right. What if I told you that there's a secret? All right. I'm listening. Okay. Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. Uh -huh. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? Mm -hmm. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. You don't trust Dima? I didn't come to Acadia for him. And now that I found a place I belong, I'll help if I can. I know. I, I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. There's actually a storage space right next to there. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but... Uh-huh. I'll figure this out. Okay. Uh-huh. One case to a new one. Uh-huh. I swear someone has the key to that storage room. Something for hey, let me ask you something. Sure, yeah. it's just uh, with every it's a whole hell of a lot to process. Yeah, I'm all right. Huh, you're a tougher nut than I thought. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. Of course, when I took up there back when. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur. Sure. But at the time, they could... Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. Uh -huh. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but... Mm hmm You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going... Beep, beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. Was it hard settling in? I sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. Mm -hmm. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter. So wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Uh -huh. After a while, the jobs got so backed up. Uh -huh. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. Not a long story, but I hope it helps. Synths and humans will all get along someday. I guess not. You want to buy something or what? Why don't you take a look? 
Security's too tight. Think you can unlock that terminal? Excuse me. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. You're right. It is a good cause. It's so good to hear that. He's put so much of himself into this. Sometimes I worry about... Hmm. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. You do all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can. Dima. Well, that's certainly an understatement. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Right. If there's anything I can do to help... Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. Mm -hmm. There's a boat along the coast of the island. The boat never finished the trip, you see. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. Uh-huh. What happened to the boat? The island is dangerous after all. So? Sure thing, Faraday. Thank you. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. Uh-huh. If that synth got lost somewhere on the island, he could be in real trouble. Look, friend, no offense. I'm working with Chase. Okay, I believe you. Keep it down, all right? I know the synth you're talking about. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. Mm -hmm. Tried to calm him down, but... He panicked and ran off into the fog. Can you tell me anything else? I wish I had more to give you. Relax. I'll take care of this. Sorry. Look, 
If you're really going after that synth, just be careful out there. Sure. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. Nobody's heard. Nothing from Haddock Cove after the fog started spreading. Fog. I'm not looking for trouble. You won't leave. Like Howard didn't make it. I'll have to repair the fog condensers myself. Off.
talk to Cassie Dalton. Those fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Did you... He didn't make it. I should never have let him... Well, I said it was pain work. Is there anything... I don't know if you've chatted up the mirror. I know Cassie Dalton. Thanks. That makes two of us. Now here's your pay. Huh. The mainlander. Great. You helped us on Mariner's Hull, but we didn't need it. This is our island. Our fight. Not yours. I am the one that saved all your asses. So, yeah. We've defended this damn dock from crabs and worse from... Yeah, you helped. The day we rely on outsiders for our security... Well, I guess you have a point. Damn straight. But there's one exception. Anyone willing to put those bastards down? What's your problem with the children of... We should have gunned those bastards. Instead, we let them in. Uh -huh. Strong enough to push us all out of our homestead. I'm not sure. Whatever. Alan, you need some firepower? Show me what you got. Let's deal. Got it.
gets wet. Not that it's an option. have to come out sooner or later.
Might be on the fritz. What's the plan? Nick. Looks like you got something to say. 
Just wanted to check. Got no major complaints at the moment. Your thoughts? Who do you think actually won the war? That's all for now. Well, all right. Mm-hmm. Something else.
it's an option. Chasing those ghouls for weeks. Uh-huh. Can you dive in and choppy chop bang? Sure. You even know what you got right there? Uh-huh. I remember commercials for Pellman's tool. What the hell's a commercial? Oh, Marina sent you. No matter what she's offering, I'll pay you 2,000 caps right here. Right. Why do you need the tool? I got my own special projects. I'll pass on the offer. I ain't hanging around forever. Uh-huh. Mariner. You been to the tannery? You find my tools yet? Here are your tool. A fair bit of luck. And now to work with... Mm -hmm. Hey, you, Mariner. All manner of good I can do with those tools. You are a curious specimen. Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. I got to ask, why do you keep at it? You're good people in some dire straits. Huh? <laughs> you running for office? Well, if that's the truth, we don't deserve you. Most folk here are set in their ways, yes? It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good with them. Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. But there's a way. A downright insane way, mind you, that you can turn even the most stubborn fool around. I'd love to change the road. Do it right, and all mainlanders might get treated better. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the Captain's Dance. Legends say the toughest, meanest, and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them. Once the would-be captain killed the Myrler Queen, or Fall Crawler, or what have you, they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. You do this, well, you won't be made captain, but you'll earn respect. Everyone's respect. I'm ready to... You what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old Meyer Lurk feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway, a treacherous stretch along the coast. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. And then wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods you belong. Mainlander like you stands for a chance. 
You ask anyone in Far Harbor, they'll tell you Grandpa George was everybody's favorite. Grandpa George can rest in peace. Our crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully concluded. You true with that fog? Mm -hmm. That's right. The farm is your uh -huh. And here's another. Who else needs to be? I was just now. I... But if you ask me, that's why. Mm -hmm. You were married. My late husband, Daniel. Right. One day. Turns out some trappers moved into the light. Their leader, with you going. I'll make that trap. All right. Remember. Sure. Maybe someday more places in the world will accept us for who we are. Your missing synth was jumped by cannibal trappers. He didn't survive. That poor bastard. That synth came here. Mm -hmm. It's my fault. I'm glad we were able to bring some closure. You said this... Of course not. Thanks again for your... Uh-huh. 